I'd say, you know, on, on paper it looks like an easy play. You know, I believe Hallett, as we've seen in the past, well, me, me and you certainly, you know, he can be, when he's motivated, when he's in a mood, if, if something's happened, you know, he, can, he can make you work for that win. So so for McIntosh, like I said, well, of all the young, of young guys on their way up, it's about keeping your shape, keeping your composure, don't get too excited what you're doing, just make sure you're doing solid clean work, and then similar like Hallett, then you, you, you'll, you'll, they'll, they'll conform to what they're meant to be, and they'll give you the rounds, and you'll get a good win. Here we go then. First fight, first round of the night. McIntosh against uh, Hallett. McIntosh, who's he's dropped to trim down a, a pound and a half since he made his debut a couple of weeks ago. And it'll be interesting to see how fast he's going to move through the early stages of his career, how fast they want to push him as well and how much of a test barry that hallett can provide tonight we recall him a couple of years ago back in 2019 when harlan ben was the, the kind of young prospect coming through and he, he upset the odds on that night yeah like i said you know sometimes he, you know he gets a bit between his teeth and he, and he he makes you work for that win and if you're not up for it you'll 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 take the w it's very rare of course but it's achievable, but I just think, you know, again, you've got, what are you going to do? You've got to get out there, do a little bit of what he's doing here, McIntosh, take the centre of the ring, dominate with the jab. He probably needs a bit more on his jab, to be honest, McIntosh, but if you do that, Hallett will, will, will conform. And George, I always think when I'm looking at young, young or otherwise prospects, and, and McIntosh in, in his 30s is a, is a prospect, but getting into good habits? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, from the get-go, you want to be building for the future as such you know at 31 years of age he's probably a lot more relaxed and, and mature in that respect starting his fight than if he was 21 but at the same time nice calm and composed start for him he took the center of the ring he's trying to establish his jab the range he fights with a low left hand so he's got to be cautious stuff to coming back from Hallett um, and interestingly McIntosh sort of he doesn't plant that front foot that front foot is up you know on, on the toes as well even when he's jabbing so maybe that might change as the, fight, as the fight progresses, but at the moment, yeah, he's definitely just finding the distance and then finding it well. Very light on that front left foot. McIntosh, Alex Leo in the, uh, the corner from him, from the, from the hot box gym. A few of their fighters in action tonight. Quite a busy night for the corner, and he's working behind the jab quite nicely through the first couple of minutes, Barry. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's, it's not so bad. It's, again, because he is a bit too light on that front, there's too much on the toes. Just he can't really step in with the jab, so there's no weight on the punch. So it's just that's going to be a ramrod shot. We've got to be enough just to when he lands on a tag, just to make the opponent think. If there's not, then you're going to encourage Haller to come a little bit more, it could be a bit more adventurous, come forward, put you under a little bit of pressure. But right now, that's not happening. You know, taking the centre rings, the right thing. He's making Hallett move around him, making him waste all the energy. Hallett actually made him miss a couple of times with the jab. Looked like he was trying to vary it, aim it at slightly lower, middle of the chest, with a couple of those, and towards the end of the round, Hallett trying to just rough him up a little bit. Don't know, oh, the heads did come close. It's a slight cut, left eye. That's why he's shaking his head. Hallett at the end of that one in the corner, going to have to go to work on on that slight nick on the, the left eye. Might be more than a nick, actually. Yeah, but the problem is for Hallett, he's, he's not thinking about tonight. He's thinking about next week, when he's fighting next week for him. A cut is, it takes, it takes him out of his pocket. It's about an inch long, actually, that that cut. I think he's still still fizzing a little bit about that, as Barry said. It, it's the potential for curtailing the work in the coming months is the, is the big issue, Necess not necessarily the impact on tonight's fight, or indeed necessarily the pain, although both of them uh, possibilities as we move on and into the, the second. So that might give Hallett now just a little bit of a, like I said earlier, a little bit between his teeth, mm. and that might give him a little bit of emphasis to, to want to teach McIntosh a few tricks if he can. There was a little bit of anger in that exchange from both of them, George. Yeah, what well, Orthodox feet set out for, the heads always come together. It's, it's almost inevitable at times. But Alec, yeah, you know, I'm sure he's a lot better than his record suggests. And the fact that he fought a chap called Ben with a famous name and decides <laughs> that's the night I'm going to go and uh, maybe put it on you a bit more and he gets the win, then, you know, of course, 
you know, fighters like Alec have, have a role to play in boxing, but if he's got this cut tonight, he might think, well, I'm not working for a few weeks, then uh, I'm going out on my terms. And yeah, it's a lively start to the second round from him. Four and a half years since the last time uh, Hallett was, was stopped. Only one of two occasions when, when that's happened. And the other one was on, on his debut back in 2018. So he knows how to look after himself. He, he knows the geography of the, of the ring as he tried to swipe with a, a, a lead right hook there. Yeah, what a bad little jab, I thought. I, I thought from Hallett there. And again there, yeah. Mm. Just a, a little smear of the blood coming from that cut. Double jab, good left hand there from Hallett. Starting to, to work into this. Bit of motivation maybe from, from the clash of heads in the first. Well, he brings the jab back a little, doesn't he? McIntosh, and that's why you know Hallett's a lot, especially because he's southward, love to get that jab into play. And again, oh, good shot. shot. It started with the jab, lovely dip of the, the waist and the shoulders created the angle, George, for that left hand to come back up. Yeah, it was a great shot. I mean, McIntosh at the moment just getting, getting caught, he's static with the head, you know, at times he's, he's trying to land his jab, but there's no movement after. And Haddock is punching long and Good. freely. He's having success, especially with that rear hand out of southpaw stance, bending it around, the, trying to get around the side. Really good body shot in there as well from Haller. He, as Barry said, he's got the bit between his teeth now. He's been motivated, anger. There's a good left, goes right into the midriff uh, as well, uh, Haller, and, and he is now on it. And because of that Bunch low of left, that. that low left hand of McIntosh, he's been able to se secure the jab this round as well. Slight delay in proceedings because the gum shield of McIntosh has come out. Yeah, he could just caught a punch. He was flush, caught it flush on the on the face there, McIntosh. And I think just. Uh, the mouth open, which is always a dangerous thing to have. And just not to come shield out. 20 seconds, no doubt this has been a Hallett Oof. round. He's landed some heavy shots as well. Yeah. Missing with a few there, yeah, but it, it's been wild. a Hallett round. A bit wild there from Hallett. But yeah, I think I agree with you. I think he's had a good round here. He's again motivated now, and that might be a problem here for McIntosh. He still looks nice and relaxed to his credit. But he hasn't done enough for this round for me. And even there, with those exchanges at the end, Hallett managed to dance away. Well, well. you can have a you can have a nice and relaxed style and take your time if you're dominating the exchanges, and if and if you can if you can get, if you can force your you no know, if you can dictate the pace, slow it down. But if you can't do that, which you couldn't do in the last round, then and you you haven't got a second gear, then you might be in trouble. I mean, we haven't seen that yet. I mean, he might have he might have multiple gears, but but if Hallett stays in this form, he might have to show us here, McIntosh. And Which is not a bad thing, by the way. We, you know, we need to see it. Well, you want to be tested. And it looks like he's being tested. There's another jab gets through. That low left hand's presenting opportunities for Hallett. And because of the distance, you know, the maths of a four-round fight, yeah, <laughs> every, yeah. every moment counts, never mind every, every round and point. Absolutely, it's risky. McIntosh here, I mean, he started that attack, but the two previous ones, he's tried to finish the exchange, which is the right thing to do. Let's the judges think that you're in control and you're, you know, you're working harder. But Hallett's still landing. He's landing well in in, in this third round. He can miss with that right hand lead, can he, Mac um, Hallett? Every time he throws that right long right hook, always finds a home for it. This is better though for McIntosh. Yeah, he's gritting his teeth, isn't he? Wailing away with a, a few hooks. Looks like he's getting spicy through the first uh, minute, and that's what you want. You want to see McIntosh react. No, no, it's Hallett with the head. Coming forward with the head. Shot. Mm. Lead right hook. They're on the move from Hallett. Yeah, I mean, McIntosh got that low left hand, but at times, without the mindset of having a low left hand, if you've got a low left hand, you've got to be prepared that that side of your face is exposed and, and the person in front of you is going to want to fire at it. So whether you've got to bring the shoulder up to defend it, whether you just have the sharp feet or the head movement to counteract it, I suppose you you also put yourself removing as we can objectively you put yourselves in the shoes of, of Lee Hallett and just kind of remember the role that he's come here tonight to to play and it's, it's, it's also only fair to to he's got to work hasn't he 
yeah, well, cut or not, he's got to work in the coming months. Well, that's what you mean, want the phone to ring, Barry? I'm not. He's not. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he's not happy now, is he? You know, you, I mean, you know, you, sometimes you, your head gets ahead. You know, you get, you lose it. Your head strong, and you. What you got to do? What, what McIntosh's got to do here is get a bit, like George said earlier, get a little bit busier, put Halle back in his place a little bit, and he'll go back to muscle memory, and he'll go back to to, to, to kidding, surviving. That, that's his role usually. But if you're allowing him space and time to to attack. To be first, which I think McIntosh is, then you're going to a motivated Hallett. You're going to have, have a little bit of trouble, which he's having. More difficult run to to score this. I think that, that that's fair. I think at least McIntosh has kind of stemmed the flow, the, the, the momentum that had developed in the second round. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sorry, Barry. He up the up his out punch, uh, his punch output in that round as well. So. It might be last round we'll play for, though. I think that's that's likely. That is indeed likely up for grabs. That's what you want, as Barry said at the start of the show. Bit of jeopardy. Yeah, you do. I, I you know, when maybe, I said that about maybe the not fight, what they were thinking at the start. But when I when I said that about about most of the fighting on the bill, it wasn't the first two fights. It was all the others, to be fair, because well, these are learning fights for these guys. But again, it's not a bad lesson here for McIntosh. Not from the opponent he thought he was going to get a lesson with, but you know, about being busy now, no, they know they're going to go on this last round and do all they can to win it, because that was a, a close round. He had a better round than the second here. McIntosh, not as good as his first round, but that was a tight round. Now, if he didn't, if he didn't do enough in the judge's eyes, in the referee's eyes, I should say, then he's really got to make sure he stamps his authority in this fourth and final round. Yeah, you fancy who wins this fourth and final round wins the fight. Whether the last one went one way or the other, or whether it was drawn, remains to be seen. That is uh, out of our hands. But there's a nice jab from Hallett, spins around the target. He's looking busy and, and motivated. It's good from Hallett. It took that foot on the outside to land that, that left hand there, Hallett. I suppose the... Is it at the point, George, where you, you forget about technique? It, it, it's, it's literally just about being busy and, and being busier than than your opponent. I think still at this point it's give away no silly shots because they could be the eye-catching shots that sort of lose you the round. I mean, Hallett, he's stepping out to his right in the southpaw stance, just firing the straight backhand. It's sort of like the first thing you're taught in the amateur gym as you show up. But tonight, he's, he's in the start of this round, it, it's effective for him. That's better. That's better for McIntosh. Getting off first and behind the jab. Again, looking sharp, and pretty much in the style of the first minute off the first round. Back on it a bit, McIntosh, and much required, much needed. Yeah, but Hallett then landed with that low left hand there. Hallett landed with that right hand lead again. <laughs> Johnny Greaves in the corner. Oh, good shot there from from McIntosh, good right hand. Yeah, whether that was for his fighter or whether that was for the referee, <laughs> Kieran McCann, who, who knows, but a little bit of uh, psychology at play in the background for us here ringside tonight in, in Essex. Minute and a bit to go. Well, I think Jordan McIntosh probably hoped to learn a bit tonight. He probably wasn't expected to be tested tonight in, in quite the manner that it that it's unfolded. Oh, good body shot from him there. That was a that was a right oh. punchy right through the right through the centre there from McIntosh. Yeah, good response as well from from Hallett. I thought there with a the short little left hook. Oh, huge left hand. Just ducked. He's put in another one there, Hallett as well. Some of the biggest uh, shots of this round, and to be fair, some of the biggest shots all night in the second and the fourth have come from Hallett. You could hear that one, George. That was a great, great shot for him. Uh, McIntosh took it, I mean, took it well. But in this last round, when you think this could be tight on the cards, these are not the shots you want to be hit with. You're not giving away these three shots. Hallett, left hook, right hook, left hook. He let go with a flurry there as well. You had the bank for the last 10 seconds there, but the clock's a little bit out of sync. Well, there we go. 
I think the worst thing that could have happened tonight for, for McIntosh was that head clash in the second because <laughs> Hallett was just inspired from that moment on and uh, referee's got his, his, his pen out and the, and the book and the scribbles are going in as we speak. Jordan Alexander McIntosh. Well, McIntosh gets the, the nod. I'm not sure what Hallett said to him, but it's made uh, McIntosh smile for sure. Uh, I suspect there will be a wry uh, smile on the corner of Hallett, whether he can smile about it, given they're going to have to attend to that cut as well. Uh, And McIntosh comes across right side to, to touch gloves with us. It, um, no, to he, might, honest, he might. It was a touch up with George. George let's he be just honest. felt sorry for us two then. Thought they better touch up with these two random strangers. If I'm being honest, it wasn't my best performance. Um, I feel like the two week cut, it was a bit. I uh, should have prepared better in terms of getting down to the same way again um, compared to my first performance. But no excuses. Um, I enjoyed the. I enjoyed the, absolute, the atmosphere. I enjoyed the arena. I absolutely am grateful for Johnny putting me on. I'm just glad to be back in the ring, and especially on a show like this. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful, very grateful. What did you want to showcase in that tonight compared to your professional debut a few weeks ago? Close friends, uh, close affiliates and family members, they know me. Um, they call me Sugar, and they know what I can do in the ring. Today, first time putting an eight ounce gloves, Lee called me with a really good shot, and I was like, ooh, okay. Uh, so, going forward, a better camp. Um, definitely going into the new year, four minute rounds of sparring, 30 second breaks. Um, so like going into fights, I'm not gassed out, I don't feel tired during rounds. Um, going forward into the new year, I'm gonna be a completely different fighter. And I'm gonna showcase all my skills and all my varieties that I have in the bank um, going forward. Because at the end of the day, I want titles. With a performance like that, yeah, that's not gonna get me titles. So yeah, I just have to be honest with myself. But, Good show. Nice seeing George Groves, nice seeing Barry Jones, nice seeing yourself as well, finally being here. Um, just to say a huge thank you to Tomoka, Shane, the rest of my friends for coming down, um, making the travel all the way down to Essex on such a short notice as well. Yeah, I'm really appreciative of, of today. Really am. Well, well done, and it was great to have you on the show, George. Really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs>